What's going on guys, it's your boy Snoker 404 back at it again with another video for you guys. In this video, I'm actually going over some of the E3 videos and trailers that I actually saw that I enjoyed. Before I actually get into it, if you guys are liking my video, if you can go ahead and leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, it'd be greatly appreciated. And this first video is actually the teaser trailer for the new up and coming Resident Evil 7. I'm actually pretty hyped for this game. I do love the Resident Evil series and been a fan of it for years to come. And definitely seeing that going back towards the horror genre is definitely an exciting thing for me. And I'm definitely loving the concept. It kind of got that PT feel where it's kind of in that first person. If you haven't played it already, it's actually available in the PS4 store for a download. You can definitely go check that out. The next video we actually are getting into is going to be the new IP. It's called Days Gone. Definitely does look like it has that last of us feel i actually thought when they first revealed it, i was like wow they did go ahead and want to go with a sequel to the last of us 2 it definitely has that that feel to it i thought it was actually made by the company but definitely it's a whole different one and this one it seems like you got some kind of zombie they look kind of like the world war z zombies and they definitely are just after you and things like that and definitely are not quitting but the graphics look good. The gameplay looks kind of good. Definitely excited for when this actually comes out. They don't have a release date. And I'm thinking maybe it'll be later on down the line. Maybe within a, another year or maybe two. Looking at maybe quarter one of 2018. This game may actually be released. But it does seem like it has a good concept. Definitely can't wait to hear more about it. The next game that we're actually showing you guys had me really thrown for a loop. It's called We Happy Few. It kind of looks like one of those psychological, you know, games that kind of want to mess with your mind. It seems like in the concept of this, you take a pill called Joy. And that pill actually has everyone with their white mess have them kind of always being happy. And if you don't take your pills, you're known as a downer. So definitely I'm ready to see the concept behind this, what happens to this guy. Because he didn't take his pills or whatever. And as you see in the background... They actually thought they was doing a piñata, but you seeing all that blood splash up and things like that and come to find that they was eating a rat or whatever. So this game definitely does have me hyping. It is an Xbox One game, so I'm definitely, definitely waiting to try this one out and can't wait till this is released, hopefully sometime this year or maybe next. Now the next game we're actually getting into is one of my favorite games that I love because I love zombie games and it definitely has that Grand Theft Auto feel to it. It's called State of Decay 2. So pretty much it's going to be an open world game where you go around. I guess you got to build your shelter and try to save people and help people make decisions and things like that. The only thing this time around is actually it's going to be a multiplayer. Now it isn't going to be an MMO or anything like that. It's actually just going to be four player co-op. But even then it's definitely going to be fun. You know, you and your friends or maybe you and some random just going around you know helping building shelters you know just beating zombies with all kind of crazy things maybe feel bad and things like that but definitely definitely they ain't glad they came out with this now i heard around the grapevine they actually when state of decay one came out they was actually trying to make a multiplayer concept to it i'm not actually sure what happened behind that but actually didn't fall through at all but definitely glad to see this at E3. This was one of the games that they actually showed that I was really hyped for. I wasn't expecting this at all. But definitely you can see when it's on Xbox One, you can see the beautiful graphics and things like that. And it seems like, you know, in the open world, you guys can each go your separate ways. But hopefully, maybe, you know, it'll be like, you know, you got your flare gun if you need help or, you know, within the communication lines or whatever. You guys can all link up and do your thing or whatever definitely definitely can't wait till they reveal a release date for this because I, I definitely will be picking this game up and i'm sure a lot of you guys will too if you're the zombie genre lover and like i said man this this game looks beautiful definitely definitely glad to see this at e3 now the next game coming up is something that really threw me for a loop i was not expecting to see this here i was not expecting to hear from him but it seems like kojima actually done it again with the since him separating from konami he actually been working with a game working actually with norman readers from the walking dead for this game it's called death stranding now reading them more a little bit more about this game it seems like it's going to be an action game I thought they were actually going to lean more to it. I thought it was actually going to be, you know, the PT, the Silent Hill game. But it definitely seemed like he went a whole nother route. 
he's actually isn't working with Gil Moro on this and you know definitely definitely ready to see the concept if you actually played the PT trailer you probably remember <laughs> the dead fetus I'm thinking that's maybe the baby he just went with a different route around this and a lot of things around him are actually dead I don't know exactly why he's butt naked <laughs> didn't really want to see that but when you actually look at this trailer and kind of analyze it it does seem like it's going to be in some kind of maybe fantasy post-apocalyptic world and things like that I actually know this game probably won't be out for another two or three years because he want when he works on games he wants them to be perfect. But definitely waiting along the line to actually see more about this game and read more about it. And as I do, I'll let you guys know. Now the next game was actually Sony's big opener, and I know that everyone everyone was glad to see them make a return to God of War. Definitely, we see with Kratos is back now. He's gotten a little older, as uh, one of my friends, Luna, actually said it, which he joked about. Looks like um this should be called God of War Father Simulator, because you know now Kratos has a son actually with him. I know Kratos had a child in the past, but he ended up murdering them. Spoiler alert: if you guys never played God of War, but definitely this game looks great. And, you know, coming to the next gen console, God of War definitely looks great. Now, like I said before, if you're actually used to playing God of War and anything like that, you can notice that this one actually has a different kind of feel to it. This one actually has like the over-the-shoulder kind of view compared to the old God of War just being a third-person game. But definitely as we look at this trailer, we can see that Kratos is still in great shape. He's still that great Spartan warrior. Now, I'm not sure of the concept behind it and everything because I'm not sure exactly what happened or what's going on in this game. If you're just doing more training or, you know, the gods have somehow made a return or you're fighting a titan or something like that. But all in all, I'm definitely glad to see this making a return, especially to the next gen. I'm not sure if they're going to stick with the game just called God of War, if they're just remaking it or maybe they'll add a little more to it later on. But definitely, definitely glad to see that this made a return. The graphics are beautiful. The gameplay is still brutal as I remember it back in the day. And definitely all I can say is that, man, Kratos, Kratos is back and coming back with Avengers. I, I don't know who he's mad at this time, but whoever it is, he's definitely, definitely coming after them. And um, he got his little, I guess, um, partner in training with him, his son. But definitely hope hope to see here a little more about the game coming on in the future hopefully they release more and let us know about it as far as the main concept of the game but until then definitely definitely we'll be on the lookout for this for more information now the next game that's actually coming out is something i'm looking really forward to because i haven't heard from insomniac games in a while and i was kind of wondering what this was thought it was going to be a completely different game but i was definitely glad to see that my favorite wall crawler is definitely back the whole city looks gorgeous. Spider-Man looks gorgeous in this game, and I'm definitely back, glad to be back swinging in New York City with this. Definitely seems like they're going down a good concept with this, especially with the new Spider-Man movie coming out next year called Spider-Man Homecoming. As you see, this gameplay is kind of ridiculous, and I hope that this is all in the game because it looks phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. The gameplay looks fun. I'm definitely enjoying the combat system in it that they actually showcased a little bit and definitely loving the costume that Spider-Man actually has on. Definitely another game that I was looking forward to and actually glad that they are releasing this time for a new Spider-Man game and definitely glad that it's going to be on next console. And um, like I said, it looks beautiful and I can't wait to get a release date on this. Now the next game is actually being showcased is a game called Detroit. And you can actually tell that is actually made by the same people who made Heavy Rain and also Beyond Two Souls. The concept of this game seeing that you actually maybe play as a robot by the name of Connor, who's actually maybe a cop or something who try to work on murder. And it seems like that a lot of robots in the city are actually coming in and starting to think on their own will. As you see kind of in this trailer, this robot actually went a little crazy and kidnapped the girl that he actually worked for the family. And definitely it seems like you do have that kind of game where you got to make choices, find clues and things like that to kind of alter how you will do things. As you see in here, you can see the many different variations of roads that you can go down from anywhere from saving a girl to killing a robot, getting the cops to kill the robot. I definitely like these type of games that have their own kind of outcome depending on how you play. 
and it definitely does help with that multi-style of play where you can actually play through something a certain amount of times and get different kind of outcomes. I'm expecting that maybe this game will be released sometime in 2017. Glad they actually brought this back to E3 to show more. And the final game that I actually have to show you guys is called The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I don't know about you guys. I kind of wasn't really expecting Nintendo to show a lot, but I'm definitely glad that they showed this. I am a big Zelda fan and definitely glad that they actually brought this back. It's been a while since we had a Zelda game. I believe the last one that actually came out was the Twilight Princess. But definitely from hearing what they got to say about this game, it's definitely going to be one of those Zelda games that's open world and things like that. And definitely have a different kind of play style, you know, everything you've seen from when you cook, the, how you can actually play around and sneak around more to kill enemies with boulders and things like that, where you don't always have to get in the, you know, the sword action combat. Definitely, definitely glad to see Nintendo working on the new thing, and this game is actually supposed to be available on Wii U. And also on that upcoming console that's coming out, I believe, next year called the NX. Definitely, definitely will be picking this game up, um, whether if I buy the NX or if I end up getting the Wii U. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time.